What are the small, subtle, tedious ways in which drinking is making your life harder? When we talk about alcohol and whether or not we should quit, we tend to automatically look towards the really big stuff. We focus on whether our drinking is bad enough for us to have to stop. But if you're like most of the women who watch my videos, then the chances are that nothing really bad has happened to you yet. In fact, perhaps to the outside world, your life looks absolutely fine, actually. You're nothing like those cliched stereotypes of problem drinkers. You're still holding down a good job and you get the kids to school on time and you are generally showing up for your life. But you are also quietly drinking a lot at home behind closed doors and probably drinking more than other people would ever realize. When you put all your focus on whether your drinking is bad enough for you to have to quit and whether you know, enough bad things have happened or you've crossed some kind of invisible line in the sand out there somewhere, when you do that, you miss some of the little things that are happening to you right now and really affecting your life. And what I'm talking about here is a really boring, tedious, tiring stuff that's making your life harder without you knowing. Like often life's about the little things and the small moments and the super specific stuff. And that's why this matters. I started thinking about all of this the other day when I was on a coaching call with a client who's recently finished my Getting Unstuck course my stop drinking program and she mentioned in passing what a relief it was to no longer be acting all the time. She said that when she was drinking she had to keep putting on this performance and really act the part of someone who was absolutely fine when she absolutely wasn't. Sometimes she'd be feeling physically hungover but she'd have to go to work and pretend to be someone who wasn't. Other times she'd be consumed by guilt and fears about her drinking, but she'd have to go to work and put on this bright and breezy Oscar winning performance of someone who is totally on it. Constantly having to act the part is hard work and it's actually really lonely. There are lots of little ways like that where alcohol might be making your life harder without you really clocking it. For example, if you're a secret drinker or you like to have a few drinks before your partner gets home so you can pretend that you're just pouring your first, well, that takes some work. You have to manage that. You have to get your supplies, get them into the house unnoticed and make sure that your secret stash doesn't get discovered. Then you've got to you know, have those drinks and then act like someone who hasn't had a few drinks already. Then you have to do something with the empties and dispose of them discreetly. The mental load of managing all of that is draining. I've lost track of the number of women that I've worked with who said that when they were drinking, they realized they couldn't answer the phone after a certain point in the evening. Because although they really wanted to speak to whoever it was who was calling, they also didn't want to get caught out and appear drunk to friends or family. So then they end up missing out on that connection or you know, you've got a plan when you're going to call that person back and have a reason why you couldn't answer the other day. Maybe you're slightly paranoid that the staff in your nearest shop have noticed how much you drink. So you make a point of visiting a few different ones on rotation. Maybe you've drunk someone else's alcohol without asking. So you've had to remember to go out and replace that and buy the right stuff. Maybe you're one of those people who actually manages to drag themselves to the gym with this terrible hangover, but once you're there, you worry that other people can smell the alcohol on you. So loads of examples there, but can you see how 
these different things can impact on the quality of your life. Individually, they might not sound that much, but they are all making your life a little bit harder. And the cumulative effect of these different things, managing several of them at once, that is really significant. And, and I know that if you were directing a movie where the lead character was drinking too much, the kind of stuff that I've just talked about probably wouldn't ever appear on screen because frankly, it's not, you know, it's not dramatic enough. But that's kind of my point. This stuff is subtle and small and often a bit boring and tedious. So it's easy to dismiss it. But our lives aren't movies and we don't have to wait until something really bad happens before we decide to stop hurting ourselves. You don't need to be anywhere near rock bottom in order to make the choice that you deserve better and you're not gonna put up with this anymore. There's a quote I quite often think about that says, enjoy the little things in life for one day you'll look back and realize that they were the big things. And I think that principle is so relevant here. Life is about those small moments. The small everyday stuff really matters. And if your day is filled with lots of small but unpleasant, hard, painful things, that's really worth reflecting on because you can change that. So I'm Kate B. Let me know in the comments if this resonates with you or if there's a small but significant way in which alcohol is making your life harder. I'm wishing you a very happy and hangover free week ahead. <laughs>